everyone. My name is Emer McGuire and I'm a science communicator, which basically means that I love science and I love talking to people about science in the hope that they will love science too. Today I thought we could do some stay at home science and I wanted to talk to you all about space science. I thought you could join me and we could all be space cadets. Today we're gonna to learn some very cool science facts and we're even gonna make our own rocket. At the end of today's video, I'll even show you how to make your rocket blast off. Stay tuned to see how high mine goes and let me know if you can get your rocket to go even higher. I think because we're all space cadets today, the kind of space science we could focus on is space travel. So let's talk a little about astronauts before we start building our rockets. Does anyone know what an astronaut is? I bet loads of you do. An astronaut is someone whose job is to travel into space. Isn't that cool? Would anyone want to do that when they grow up? Would you like to go on a rocket? Would you be scared? Would you miss your family? The word astronaut comes from the Greek words astron, which means star, and the Greek for knots meaning sailor, so astronaut literally means star sailor. To become an astronaut, you have to do lots and lots of training. One of the coolest things astronauts have to do is get themselves ready for the weightlessness of space. Have you ever seen a video of an astronaut in space and they're, they're kind of floating around inside the spaceship in their spacesuits? Well, gravity is the name of the force that pulls things towards Earth. If you lift something like the tip and you, you let it drop, it quickly falls and it hits the table. Um, that happens because gravity pulls things towards the ground. Now, gravity is very, very strong on Earth. In space, gravity is a little bit weaker so people and objects float. Wouldn't it be weird to float? So astronauts need to practice this before they go into space to see if their bodies can handle it. It wouldn't be a very good idea to get to space and decide that floating isn't for you. There's even a really special aircraft that they go on that gives them that kind of floaty feeling. It's like a plane and it dips and dives all over the place and that recreates the feeling of weightlessness. The thing is, some of them feel really, really sick. So can you guess what nickname they've given that special plane? Anybody? Any ideas? They call it the Vomit Comet. Ugh. Do you think you could handle a ride on the Vomit Comet? I don't think I could. So how do astronauts get to space? In a spaceship, of course. So as we sometimes call it a rocket, I thought today we could make our own rocket. And a spaceship or rocket usually takes off from a launch pad. It's propelled by rocket engines which shoot hot gases out of the bottom and it pushes the spaceship up into space. So let's have a go making our very own rocket and see if we can get them to blast off. So the first thing you need to do whenever you are building your rocket is make sure you've got a nice bit of space to do it. If you've got a space helmet, move it out of the way. Now you need to get your materials. The most important thing you need is a plastic bottle. Four pencils, you need some tape. You also need vinegar, baking soda, bicarbonate of soda. Get yourself a tablespoon, a paper towel, a cork, you need a cork. You also need plenty of space outside um, to let your rocket blast off. If you're like me and you don't have a garden, you need to go somewhere that's really quiet, there's nowhere else around, no one else around to let your rocket off. Finally, you need scissors for your tape and also an adult to help. Now, if you want to make your rocket look nice to the mine, and I think you should. You could also grab some stuff to decorate it, get some colored paper, some markers, some paint, decorate it however you want. Now let's get started. We're gonna start with the most important part, our bottle. Now the bottle is gonna be the body of our rocket and the bottle should be upside down. So take the lid off the bottle and have it upside down. Whenever a rocket is getting ready for blast off, it's really important to make sure it's pointed up at the sky. So this is the top pointing up and you need to make sure it's not gonna fall. Now sometimes if you have that bottle sitting, it might sit okay on the table, it might not sit so well on the grass. So you need to make stabilizers for it to make sure it's not gonna fall. You need to make a rocket launch pad. And to do that, all you need are your pencils, 
and your tip. So get your extra set of hands that you have lying around, get your adult, and you're gonna get them maybe to hold the bottle, um, and you are gonna get your pencils, and you're gonna start sticking them to the bottle. So we'll stick one there. Now the really important thing to remember about this is that when you're sticking them on, the pencil needs to be lower than the bottom of the rocket, okay? Now this is where the force is gonna come out to push your rocket into the air. So they need to be lower than that to hold them, hold it in place. Now, if my extra hands would just hold on to that and then rotate the rocket around. So we're gonna have to fit four pencils on. Now, you want the four pencils to be nice and even. That looks even enough to me. Put that one there. They're nice and spread out. If you rotate it again, we could put another pencil here. All right, see, are they even? I think so. Now, it really is difficult to do this but by yourself. So as I said, if you do have an extra set of hands hanging around, get them to give you a hand. Now turn it around again, hands please. And we're gonna put our last pencil around about here. I think that looks pretty even to me. All right, now, stick that on there. Now at this point, before you kind of stick them on even more, you want to make sure that they hold, they hold the bottle properly. Now look, I can see on mine that these two pencils at the side are about the same length, but this one isn't. So I need to pull it down a little bit so it's touching the ground, so it's nice and stable. Perfect. I need to do the same on the other side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these four pencils and my extra pair of hands is gonna take the cell tape and it's gonna wrap round and round and round to make sure that none of my stabilizing pencils, I mean, none of my launch pad breaks off. So hold them in place so they're touching the table. There you go. And wrap the cell tape round and round and now what you want to do is do that without moving the bottle too much there we go and of course cut the end thank you spare hands thank you adult so now so i think that's i think that's pretty stable looking to me is that pretty stable looking to you looks like there's a little bit of wind outside it's not going to blow it over this next stage you can decorate your rocket however you want I'm not going to decorate mine but I want you to do it make it look really cool we would love to see pictures of how cool they all look now now for your next step you need to head outside with an adult make sure you're somewhere really quiet with plenty of space you have to be away from other people preferably in your garden but if you're like me and as I say if you don't have a garden you and your adult need to be really really far away from others because this rocket is going to shoot straight up into the air and you don't want it to hit anyone or anything. So I'm going to talk you through how to fill up your rocket before I go outside so that you can clearly see what I'm doing. Then I'll head outside and do the same with my own rocket. Now the thing is, outside you do it quite quickly so I'll show you first. So once you're outside, turn your bottle round, have a look at it and think, wow that's a great, it's a great looking rocket. Now, you are gonna fill it with one third-ish of vinegar. Now, my bottle is a liter, so I've measured out here about 330 mils of vinegar. So I want you to put in around a third, plenty of vinegar. Now, you need to be careful if you need a bit of a funnel or if you need adults to help you with this, do get a bit of help because it can be quite hard to get the liquid in past the rocket launch pads. So you fill it up. Wow, that is a that is a lot. And you can, oh, you can smell just how much vinegar that is. Now what you're gonna do, move your rocket over to the side for a second, and you're gonna get your baking soda. So you are also at this point gonna get your sheet of kitchen towel and you cut it in half, okay? So half should be enough in terms of the amount that we need. So get your adult to cut it in half. Don't need that bit. That bit's gonna be in case this bit goes wrong. 
and you get your baking soda and you open it up and you want to get about two tablespoons of baking soda right in the middle of this paper towel. Now, that's quite a lot. Two tablespoons, okay, so there's, there's about one in the middle. This is gonna be like the fuel for our rocket ship. And then you get another one. Oh, that's a lot, that's quite a lot. And what you do then is you are actually gonna roll it up. So fold it over, roll it up, and then the ends, you are going to twist them like this so that it's nearly like a little sweet or a little package. Twist them like this, okay? So you will have this little package. It looks quite like mine. This little package of baking soda. Now, I'm gonna move that over to the side for a second along with the rest of the baking soda. And we're gonna use this one as an example. So say I've just put baking soda in here folded it over, twisted the ends. What you're gonna do then, you, once you're outside and you've put your vinegar in, you are going to put the package of baking soda in to the top of the bottle. So you're gonna take your cork very quickly once you've done this outside and put it into the top of the bottle. Now, It'll look something like this. You see, you've got your baking soda package at the top. You've got your vinegar down here at the bottom. You've got your cork in and you've got some fantastic launch pads. Now, have it like this. You want to put the cork in at the bottom. Make sure nothing leaks out because you don't want to lose all that precious fuel that you've just put in. But also, don't put it too tight or your rocket won't launch. So if you turn it around, nothing should leak out the bottom. Okay, now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go outside. Once I get outside, I do all these things pretty quickly. Get my bottle, have the launch pads already on, fill it up with vinegar really quickly, put my baking soda already wrapped up in the paper towel in and put the cork in. What you're gonna do then is give your rocket a little bit of a shake, put it on the ground with the pencils touching the ground, run for cover and wait for it to take off. So I hope everyone has super cool rockets ready to go. I'm gonna take this one outside and see if I can get it to blast off. that amazing? Did anyone else's rocket go as high as mine? Have a go and let me know. Now the reason our rocket blasts off is because there is a chemical reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda. The reaction creates carbon dioxide gas and that gas creates pressure inside the bottle. That pressure builds up and builds up and builds up until it's too much to stay inside the bottle. It pushes the cork off and the force between the bottle and the ground pushes your rocket up into the sky and you have blast off. I really hope everyone enjoyed today's stay at home science with me, Emer McGuire. I would love to see you all making your own rockets. Make them, decorate them, film them taking off and please let us see how you get on. Good luck fellow space cadets and thank you for watching.